it's not what happens to us what matters it's about how we react to what happens to us is what matters so the epictetus a great great philosopher good evening fellow dos masters good evening good evening, good evening. Good evening fellow dos masters good evening. good evening and welcome guests it was a beautiful evening the weather was just so fantastic in one of the cafes people were enjoying that evening sitting on their favorite coffee chatting with their friends and loved ones in another corner there was this group of girls who were chatting and giggling and laughing the whole atmosphere of the cafe was so calm so cool and serene and all of a sudden one of the girls started shouting she was screaming at the top of her voice from nowhere a cockroach had landed on her she was screaming as if the cockroach was going to eat her well not only she was screaming she was dancing all over the place which looked like a mixture of a kathakali and kuchi In a frantic movement, she pushed that cockroach away, which landed on another girl. <laughs> Now it was her time to perform. The tone of voice changed. The scream became even louder. And from Kathakali and Kuchipudi, it was time for some bhangra and samba dance. <laughs> the whole cafe was looking at them frantically. You know the atmosphere, which was so tranquil and so serene, had gone for a toss. There was a mayhem in the cafe. Everybody was standing on their feet, on their feet, and looking at those dancing queens. And so one of those waiters now who came to the rescue, a girl who was doing samba dance, she brushed that cockroach away, which landed on the shoulder of the waiter, who was already holding some plates in his hands. But the waiter did not move. He was rock solid, stand still. He kept those plates away, slowly kept those plates down, picked up that cockroach. Now, if I ask you, what was the reason for that chaos? What created the mayhem in that cafe? And most of the people would say it was the cockroach. It was their inability, ladies and gentlemen, to handle, to respond to that situation, what created such a mayhem in that cafe. It was not a cockroach. Just like in our lives. the problems the hurdles the issues don't create the pain and the suffering the misery the affliction the unhappiness we go through it's our inability to respond to those situations is what creates misery in our lives somebody say life is all about choices it's all about multiple choices we get a choice whether to react to the situation just like the girls did or respond to a situation just like what the waiter right from early morning right from we get up we face lot of situations the world is not static it's very dynamic world and we get so many situations it's all about our choice when we react to a situation they say the reaction our reaction is our ego's response to the life event when we react it is full of emotions when we react we don't think from here we think from here Our scriptures tell us vinashakala vipurit bhukti, which means it's an open invitation to destruction. Because when we react, we blurt, we cry, we shout, we hit, we charge, we divorce, we break up. We do all that in just a split of a second, and we don't know. That's the best part. We don't know. When we respond to it. It's very calm. Reaction puts us in a constant anxiety. When we respond to a situation, it's like giving a space to our higher consciousness. It's like giving a space to think and assess before we take any action. When we respond, it implies that there is a difference between an event and our interpretation of that event. And the effect. It's very calm. And we also get sometimes a, a sense of achievement of handling a critical situation in our personal as well as professional lives. You would have seen on the roads in a traffic in a very very heavy traffic. If some vehicle just touches or brushes to another vehicle, people stop in between. They stop the other vehicle, create a scene on the road, block the traffic without thinking about them. That's a typical reaction to it. 
because they think from here and not from here. I remember an incident in Delhi when working in Delhi. A person got down on his car. In the middle of the road, he opened the boot of his car, took out the hockey stick and started hitting the biker just for causing a small scratch on his car. In fact, I was no different those days. <laughs> I remember an incident when a school bus hit my car from the backside and caused a small dent on the top of I stopped my car in the road, in the middle of the road. I stopped the bus, I got the driver down and started shouting without thinking of the traffic which was blocked for a couple of minutes. The school bus was carrying teachers who were getting late for the exams, but I didn't care about it. The only thing I cared was shouting at the driver, being a stereotype and telling all you drivers are the same, all you bus drivers are the same. That's what I only care about. And if you think and recall, why did we behave in such a way? Why did we, at the end, why did we blur? Why did we cry? Because we don't get the right mark. We are so busy from morning to evening. We have so many things to do. Our minds are occupied with so many things. There are so many things to process, we don't get the time off. It's, it puts us in a constant anxiety. It's like that ticking time bomb, which is waiting, which is waiting for some kind of stimuli. A strong, some small stimuli, like that incident on the road, and it goes boom. Our ancestors taught us a very beautiful method of meditation. How many times, just recall, how many times or when did you last give yourself about 20-30 minutes for yourself? Just you with you. Doing nothing, absolutely doing nothing. No chatting, no sleeping, no gadgets, no relatives, no friends, nothing. Doing nothing, just you. The research shows that people who meditate for 20 minutes a day have a very, very high probability of responding to a situation than reacting to it. There is a gentleman just 20 minutes a day. One of my favorite authors, Dr. Wayne Dyer, says, what people, how people treat you is their karma. How you react to them is yours. Let's create some good karma for ourselves.